Uh, thank you so much to Future Science. My name is Viviana Mucci. I'm delighted that I have received the prize. Um, so if you want to know a little bit about myself, so I'm a physiologist and I've just finished my PhD from Antwerp University last July. For the past three years, I've been working on a rare vestibular disorders, which is named uh, Mother de Barkman syndrome. The short version is MDDS. You may have never heard of it, um, but indeed it's quite rare. And so my future plans and what I'm going to do is continue researching MDDS. At the moment, I'm offering the treatment for MDDS based on optokinetic stimulations in uh, Zurich University and in uh, the uh, Swiss Concussion Center. So my project will be to continue for a half of my time to research MDDS and for the other half to work uh, the Swiss Concussion Center. So within the dizziness field, a little bit more broad within the patients that suffer from post-concussive syndrome and traumatic brain injuries. Um, so this is a bit about myself and what I'm going to do. So again, I'm really delighted that I've received the prize and uh, I would like to thank the future science for this. Thank you. Well, I'm super happy, of course. <laughs> so it was totally unexpected, so I'm super delighted. And um, yeah, as I said, not just for me, but because it was a good platform to raise awareness about vestibular disorders and in general, and more specifically for MDDS patients, because they could really get a platform that can be seen worldwide and try to raise awareness. You know, these disorders are often misdiagnosed, so a lot of people don't even know about it. So it's really good to to have this. And um, yeah, so the other things with vestibular disorders is also that people don't realize that how many people are affected. And uh, this is a huge cost also for the healthcare. It has huge cost and implications, not only for the patients, but for society. So yeah, I'm happy really, not just for myself, but because of the project I presented. Um, okay, so this is, um, I don't know, well, well, really, I think the first thing would be that a uh, researcher should be, should have a quality that is resilience. I mean, working in academic field is really tough, sometimes it's super challenging, and so one thing that I wish everyone that is working in the research, especially young scientists, is to have resilience and not to give up. Uh, that easily. The other things that will allow people to win, I guess, is um, to show how passionate you are about what you're doing, which is something that sometimes as a scientist we forget, but we were we live in a world of communication, so we should really try to bring forward social media, despite we may be terrible at that, and try to show people what we're actually doing and that we're passionate about it. And the last will be networking. So this is another thing. Thank God we live in an area of internet so we can connect with people from all over the world. And uh, I take the opportunity to make an example here. My promoter, uh, Dr. Shirley Brown, I've been working with her now for almost three years. She's based in Australia. And she's absolutely amazing. I've been working with her for three years without even, you know, without having the connections every day. We have 12 hours differences and yet it's possible. So networking in this moment in time is essential and it's possible. So I encourage everyone to do that. Um, yeah, well, I would like to make some, I would like to thank you, the Future Science, uh, the community that is following you, and I'd like to thank the MDDS Action uh, based in the UK, uh, as well as the patients group that have been extremely supportive. I'd like to thank my Dr. Brown, I mentioned before, um, all the students I followed and the, yeah, everyone that the collaborators have been working with. Um, and the MDDS community, which is growing and they're really supportive of the work I've been presenting. Overall, I'd like to make a big, big thank you to every single person that has taken the time to vote for me um, and to my friends and, uh, and family that have been sharing this around. So, And lastly, yeah, to the jury. So I'd like to thank the jury of future fans. <laughs>